Hello Year 1 Math Magicians. Today we're going to be measuring the length and height of different objects, but first let's do a quick flashback. You need a whiteboard and pen or a pencil and paper, or you can use your exercise book. Let's look at number one. We've got a pencil, that's the yellow one, and a blue crayon. So we've got to put the right word in, complete the sentence using longer or shorter. The crayon, that's the blue one, is something than the pencil. The blue crayon is something than the pencil. Is it longer or shorter? Pause the video to give you time to write the answer. Here's the answer to number one. It is shorter. Number two, order the numbers from greatest to smallest. So let's have a look at them. We've got 25, 9, 17. You've got to put the greatest first, and then the next one, and then the smallest one at the end. <clears throat> Ready for the answer? It's 25, then 17, then 9. Number 3. Add 8 and 3 together. Add 8 and 3 together. <coughs> Ready for the answer? It's 11. And number four, write 19 in words. Write 19 in words. I think you might need a bit of time for that, so pause the video if you need to, time. Here's the answer. There we go. Bit of a tricky one because we've got a split I sound here and then we've got the long E sound. Right, let's get on with our learning for today. So we're doing all about measuring. So the last couple of days we've been talking about words like taller, shorter, longer, shorter. And now we're going to start measuring them. So we've got Tiny the Tortoise here and Annie. And they want to measure the length of the castle. So Tiny thinks that he can use shells to measure it. So here we go. And he says the castle is five shells long. What do you think? Do you think he's right? Or do you think there might be a problem? Annie has spotted a problem. She says, no, the shells have to be the same size or it won't be an accurate measurement. Oh, OK. So let's have another look. Ah, right. Tiny the tortoise is going to use cubes instead. And ah, let's see. Look, they're all the same size. So this is much better. Now, the castle is five blocks long. Do you agree with Tiny? Annie thinks there might still be a problem. She says, Tiny, you cannot leave spaces. You've got to put them all together, side by side, end to end. Ah, OK, let's try again. Oh, no, look, they're using shells again. Is this a problem? No, it's not a problem. Why not? because they're all the same size. So how long is the castle? Should we count? One, two, three, four, five, six shells long. The sand castle is six shells long. Now let's look at this giraffe. I think we're going to measure the height, so how tall the giraffe is. And we're going to use suitcases. One, two, three, four. How tall is the giraffe? That's right, the giraffe is four suitcases tall. Now we're going to measure the giraffe in bottles of orange juice. Let's count together one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The giraffe is seven bottles tall. Do you think bottles of orange juice are sensible things to measure with? Pause the video and have a think. What did you say? Well, are they safe? Not particularly. If they're glass, they could fall over and topple over, couldn't they? And if the tops weren't on very tightly, they could spill everywhere too, couldn't they? So when you're measuring, you always have to use something that is a sensible choice and a safe choice. Right, let's have a look at this spoon and see how many paper clips long the spoon is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four
four, five, six. Are paper clips a sensible thing to use? Yes, they are. They're safe as long as you don't fiddle with them and undo them. And they're all the same and they're a good length to measure a spoon with. So the spoon is six paper clips long. Now it's your turn. I want you to go and find a spoon and some things to measure with. If you're in the classroom, you might use counters or cubes or our base 10 equipment. Um, if you're at home, you might be able to find some identical Lego bricks, pasta tubes, beads, paper clips, 1p coins or counters. Just remember they need to be safe and they need to all be the same size. OK, so pause the video, find your spoon and measure it. Then come back. Let's have a look at this spoon now. Now, this is being measured with, they're called Dean's blocks, so they're like our base 10 equipment in school. Do you remember we used this when we did place value? So let's see how long the spoon is. One ten, two tens, oh. The spoon isn't long enough really to be measured with that. But what we can do is we could change one of those 10 sticks for 10 ones, couldn't we? There we go. So the spoon is two tens and six ones long. So how many cubes is that all together? What's two tens? 20 and six ones. That's right, 26. The spoon is 26 cubes long. Let's have a look at this pool. Mo is going to measure the length of it and he's going to use tiles to measure. Tiny says, I'm going to measure it in paper clips. So off they go. Mo measures it and says, the pool is 28 tiles long. Here's Tiny. Oh dear, look, Tiny still measuring. 48, 49, I have so much more to measure. Why is it taking Tiny such a long time? That's right, his paper clips are really small. So you've got to remember, if you're measuring something really big, like a pool, or like the length of the classroom or the playground, you have to use something bigger to measure with as well. So your task now, I want you to look for items around your home or the classroom. For each item, write a sentence like the one below. The pencil is five cubes long. Or the teddy is six cubes tall. You can use drawings like this instead. So instead of writing the word pencil, you can draw a pencil. And instead of writing the word cube, you can draw it. If you prefer, you can just fill in the missing objects and numbers on the worksheet. And you can find that on the remote page. Good luck, year one.